Hey all beautiful people out there, this is Aljit Nai aka The Code Man. Welcome to my second video tutorial on graph uh, on the data structures algorithm playlist. Uh, today we're gonna see the uh, implementation of graph data structure in Java using the adjacency matrix representation. This is an extension of my previous video where I talked about uh, implementing graph data structure in Java using the adjacency list representation. So if you have any doubt uh, regarding graph or its uh, basic implementation, please refer back to my video. So because this video, in this video, it's gonna be a short one, and I'm gonna be, uh, you know, just typing out the code. Um, this is gonna be a small video actually, and uh, although I will be uh, coding it from scratch, so without further talks, let's jump on to the code. So, yeah. So as usual, we need to create a class for a graph. So that's public class uh, adjacency matrix graph because it's going to be an adjacency matrix representation. Let's save it. This is going to be our adjacency matrix adjacency matrix graph dot java it's saved now you can see the colors have changed so uh, the data members are in vertices and since we're gonna represent it uh, uh, using a matrix so this is uh, so we need a two-dimensional matrix in matrix now let's define the constructor so this is our constructor in vertices we'll be taking vertices as our argument in the constructor and we need to initialize our vertices so and vertices are the are equal to the number of nodes present in your graph data structure so there's this dot vertices equals to vertices and also we need to allocate memory to our matrix, uh, 2D matrix. So matrix equals to new int. And the adjacency matrix of our graph will be a square matrix of dimensions equal to the number of nodes present in our graph. So this vertices. And this is also going to be vertices. That's it. We have uh, initialized our matrix and the uh, vertices. Now it's time to add edge from one node to another. Void add edge. Integer source vertex and integer destination vertex. Now, if a link is present from one node to another node, then we represent it as one in our matrix and if there's no link then we represent it as zero in our matrix so this is going to be matrix source and destination equals to one and since this is an undirected graph we need a vice versa link too so this matrix destination source equals to one And as you know, if um, when we declare a two-dimensional matrix, by default, all the elements are in initialized to zero. So we don't have to bother about putting zeros uh, in rest of the places. Now, we need to pin, print the graph. So this void print mm, graph. And we need to do for loops to access our matrix so this for int i equals to zero i smaller than vertices i plus plus and here we have for integer j equals to zero j smaller than vertices j plus plus system dot out dot print uh, matrix i which is our row 
and J, which is our column, and some space. And here to print out next row, system so out or print it. In. So that's it. Our graph has been implemented. Now we need to take user input. So let's import java.util.scanner. And yeah. okay. Uh, here, uh, let's declare our main method public static void main string arguments. And let's define our scanner object scanner s equals to new scanner. System dot in now system dot out dot print in enter the number of vertices. We will be storing it in capital V s dot next int and we need system to out of print ln enter the number of uh, edges number of now why we need the number of edges to here because if the graph turns out to be acyclic or if there's a self loop in it or the number of edges cannot be more than the uh, than the number of vertices. So in order to handle that, we need the user to define the number of edges too. So that's going to be integer e equals to s to our next. Oops, next. That's now going to be using a for loop to take user inputs. So for integer i equals to zero. Sorry. I guess i is smaller than e because uh, we're gonna be defining the edges for a graph from the user. So i smaller than e, i plus plus. Mm, then system dot out dot print ln. Sorry, print ln. Enter the source vertex. Let's take uh, store it in a int a equals to s dot next int. Let's copy this and ask the user for the destination vertex too. So this is gonna be destination and let's store it in b. Now we need to add the edges, so we're gonna oh yes uh, we need to make the graph uh, the our class object too so that's adj matrix graph uh, amg equals to new adjacency matrix graph and we need to pass the vertex to our number of vertices to our constructor this is going to be good now let's Call the method using our object. So amg dot add h, and here goes a, and here goes b. Finally, we need to print out our graph. So, so that's amg dot print graph. That's it. Here's our graph implementation using adjacency matrix. Let me copy this code. And I'm gonna be using the JDoodle again. So paste my code here to double the interactive mode to on. So let's execute it. So number of vertices is gonna be three. Number of edges is also gonna be three. Source vertex is zero. 
um, destination vertex is 1. Now the destination uh, source vertex is 1 and the destination vertex is 2. And here the source vertex is going to be 2 and destination vertex is going to be 0. So this is cyclic graph. And voila, here's our adjacency matrix. Let's cross check it with our diagram. Yeah, 0, 2, 1. And it's 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 1, 0. That means 1 is connected to 2, and 2 is connected to 0, but 0 is not connected to 0, so it's obviously going to be 0. So, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, we have seen how we uh, how to implement graph data structure in Java using adjacency matrix. And if you like my video, give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be releasing videos uh, in every three days. And stay tuned for more. Peace.